Madison Hedgelin with us here at the Java Dola Show, uh, cross country district champion, and now you know some time here for track and field. Let's first talk about the fall and how you feel like things went when you win a district championship. That always things probably go well, but do you feel like you know you, you really peaked? Yeah, um, it was definitely a good year. Uh, districts was good. I mean, I won, but the end of the season with states didn't go as I planned. But I'd say the season was definitely my best season of all, which was super exciting. It's hard, you know, to do it all and, you know, you hope you peak at the right time. But yeah. let's talk about that consistency part. And okay, hey, we're getting back in. It's track and field. How are you doing this year with your distances for track and field here in the spring? Um, I'd say I had maybe a rough start just transitioning from cross country to track. But, like, now at this point, I think I'm sort of into it and I'm, like, head in the game. I'm ready for districts and stuff. So um, it's been going well. I think I'm – peaking at the right time in the season, which is good again. You, you get a 3.1 in cross country. When you come here, it's either a mile or a two mile for the most part, unless you do the 800, but talk a little bit about your events and do you have a stronger one right now in the mile or the two mile? Um, yeah, I do the mile, two mile, and four by eight. Um, I'd say this season, my strongest is probably the 1600. Uh, last season, I'd probably say the opposite, but um, my PR this season for the mile is like 509-ish. So, um, I mean, I definitely prefer the two mile, but this year it's, I'm probably stronger in the mile. Talk about the work ethic that you have, you know, you're putting in time and doing what you gotta do. Tell us a little bit about what you do to, you know, make sure you're at your peak. Um, I mean, I show up every day, run my miles, do my core. I lift for fame strength. Um, so just like consistency, putting in the time and work and, showing up and taking my easy days easy, definitely, and recovering. Tell us about your family. Um, well, I have my mom and dad, my sister, and my brother. Uh, my brother's in college, he goes to King's. My sister is in fifth grade. Is she starting to get into sports yet, or? Uh, she wants to do cross country and track. She, her goal is to beat me, so, <laughs> yeah. But she's right now, she's a soccer player, so. Let's hope I can transition her from soccer to cross country. Let's but. talk about your teammates and getting along with them. And you do stuff like the four by eight. You got to have some synergy there. What's it like to kind of root for everybody and hope everybody's pushing each other? Um, our team's really like connected. Our four by eight team, we're all really good friends. So it helps pushing each other and like knowing we're there for each other to do well. Um, I, I know I have good like support all around. So when I'm running, it's always nice to hear like all my teammates cheering for me. But we definitely have a good team, so that definitely helps. How about Coach Radzinski talking about his message? Is it, hey, you got to work harder? Is it, listen, I need you to do this? What kind of messages do you have from him? Um, sort of like just put in the work, work harder. Like I know his goal is to do it, like for everyone to do their best every time. Like I know he wants to win, so it's definitely like, you know, always put in your work, show up, and you'll get the results. All right. Well, hey, congratulations on a very good junior season. I'm sure you're hoping to keep building on that as the weeks go on here, and we wish you the best. Thank you.